Never heard about the system before. System 76 uh, Aider Pro ADDW1. Came in here for the power jack repair. Let's take a look.
All right, so I want to clean up the heating here and the GPU and CPU. One thing, thing to keep in mind is those guys right here, those pads has to be exactly where they're supposed to be at. For some reason, this one is right here, and I'm not sure if that's the right place. So let me clean up the, the CPUs and GPUs. Kind of hard to say from the looks of it if the jack is faulty or not. Let's put the plug in. See if we can clean up the heating. When I'm gonna reassemble it, I will put the new thermal paste in there. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so we do get the current going to the pin, but we're not getting the current. Come on. Yeah, so we're not getting the exact current right here on those guys. So the current goes from this guy to those two guys, and then goes to the rest of those um, diets. Let's remove this jack, put the new jack in, and hopefully everything should work. Insulated the area. Regular cap and tape is fine. I just use the slightly more of the 3M 3M uh, high temperature tape. You can get it from the link should be below, or just the cap and tape is fine. All right. So the goal here is to add some solder. To the joints, add some flux, add some solder, heat everything up, and the jack should fall off from the motherboard. Alrighty, so what we do here is we're gonna add some flux right here, right there. And all right. All right, so let's add some hot air to the equation.
Alrighty, so from me trying to push this guy through, it doesn't want to come out. So we're going to add a little bit more hot air. All right, so we're gonna reduce the heat right now, and we're gonna remove the excess solder using the desoldering click. All right, we got interrupted by the phone call. That's the reason we ask everyone to text us or email us. All right, so let's warm up the motherboard again because you know you do a surgery. And then somebody calls you. Then you have to take the glass off, you have to pick up the phone, you have to answer the mail, you have to cut the soldering quick. Ay -ay -ay. Ay -ay -ay. All right, let's continue. It would help if I wouldn't have to interrupt on a phone call. So here. Pretty much that's it.
Well, almost perfect desoldering job. Again, if nobody, if anybody, if nobody would interrupt. So this is the old jack right here. And this is a brand new connector right here. And we're gonna do a custom soldering job so that so that everything would be holding fine. Now the key here is to put as much flux right here as possible. Put this guy through. All right. Make sure it's all nice and straight. Like that. Now let's shut down the hot air station. And let's solder like that. Now we're gonna do something like that. And again, keep the pressure down so that the jack will be nice and stable. Stable and straight, that is. So you want to Alright, so what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more flux to the rear pin and try and hope. The problem here is that jack is designed with the conical shape tip and that conical shape tip does not grab on to the uh, to the does not grab on to the pad to the trace on the bottom but if I'm gonna solder from both sides everything's gonna be holding up just fine all right let's see Okay. Let's do a little bit more flux right here. And All right. Now I need to do one little tiny final, final thing, and that is to jump the wires here. All righty. So what I'm we used to give a lifetime warranty back in the days for all of the repairs, but sometimes we received the laptops two, three, five, ten years later, and we <laughs> decided it was a bad idea, and the reason why. The, the reason why they would break is usually because of the tip of the cord and people would still ask us to replace the jack so no more lifetime warranty uh, but we're still trying to go above and beyond so that we will never see the laptop here ever again so this is the final touch right here 
wire going directly to the components right there. Let's cut this guy out. Like that. And like that. Good job. And good job. And excellent. Looks good. Okay, let's do one more time right here. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Yep. Excellent. Alrighty, I guess I have to put a diffuser onto the lights. Well, hmm. strange, it is diffused light. Wow, I didn't expect it to be so so bright on the on the screen. Anyways, uh, so what I wanted to show you is that uh, you see right here I run the wire from the rear pin to the nearest positive components. I want to do next is I want to put some tape on top of it so that in case the casing right there on the bottom of the laptop won't be shorting to the to any of the wiring that I just put in and I did solder everything through on the top so it's soldered from the top it's soldered from the bottom and everything in theory should be pitchy just pitchy now let's put this guy upwards and let's put this guy this way like that like that like that and like that Right, so the silver screws go right, right where I'm putting them in. This is a torque range, so as you can see, it doesn't move, even with the slight holding off. Okay. I wonder if this goes up top first, and then we're gonna put this, or how is it gonna work? So my guess, my guess, we need to guide this guy first. And here.
Alrighty, we're gonna put the All right, screw down here. Hey, hey. Doesn't want to hold very well on those. Come on. Come on. Let's take this guy out here. And try and pinch it. Nope. What's wrong? Hmm. Good thing there is two antennas. No, the cable looks fine. Yeah, the cable looks fine. This ball looks fine. So what's your problem? You should be going in and stay in. All right, let me, let me, let me tighten the inner, inner, inner pins. <laughs> All right, you probably don't have to deal with that, uh, but this is the first of many. Okay, so I tightened the inner pins a little bit. Let's see if you're going to be able to. Oh, yeah, much better. Now, what I need to do is I need to keep it down like that, and this is all doesn't want to stick well. Anyway, so let's use captain tape here. like that let's use captain tape here as well all right so here let's put some thermal tape here well, not thermal tape thermal paste here and there and what i want to do is to see is to see if this guy is supposed to be here or there that's the question where's this one supposed to be at all right so by the looks of it by the looks of it whoever put it put this laptop together didn't put it the right way, the uh, pads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so my understanding, those pads go right here. Right here. Okay. And the upper pad gonna go right there. Oh, wait, hold on one second. Probably not. This pad gonna go right here, those guys, right here. All right. Yep.
I'm just trying to separate the two pads that for some reason got stuck together once they're separated. Everything should be Okay, so now we're going to put this small ones right here, like that, and let's separate a bit more. And I got mail delivery. Okay. So let's continue working on this guy. All right. So here, what I want to do is I want to cover those two chips. Those are the heat transferring pads. You want to make sure they are sitting the way they are. Don't stick to each other, guys. Don't. Don't stick. I know what you're thinking. Excellent, like that. We don't want them to be double layer. And now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna put some thermal paste here and there. And everything gonna be just fine. Okay, let's see. Here, drop this guy like I need to drop it nice and straight. I can't afford uh, wiggling anything around because the pet's gonna move. So it has to be perfectly straight down kind of procedure. Like that. Like that, like that, Did I close it down all the way already? Okay, so let's try one more. Yeah, now it's all the way. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Good. All right, we're putting this guy over here or right here for two terabytes? Wow. Wow, that must be something out of this world. It'd be really extremely, extremely expensive laptop. Really, really expensive laptop. Two terabyte memory stick. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
Alrighty. Okay. Okay. I wonder, I wonder if I put everything back in place. No, let me open it up one more time. Connected, connected, connected. This guy is connected. Oh, here. So we need to put two screws. One right here. And one right here. You know what? Again. I forgot to check the double check the oh okay so this guy is connected there and this guy's i was wondering where i connected this guy and it's connected right there the second friend okay now oh, this is the last time i'm putting it all back together okay all right okay the holes aligned for the jack just fine Let's close this guy down. Hmm. Right. The problem is the keyboard is not connected. So let's let me connect the keyboard first. Let me connect the keyboard first. Okay. I wonder if screw is coming through this end. Hmm, strange. There should be a screw there. Should be a screw right there as well. Oh. I guess they decided not to put the screws in there to begin with. Alrighty. This guy is closed down. The nut isn't there. Okay. 
Hopefully the nut isn't inside of the laptop. But fell out already. Okay. Yeah, the screw was missing on the arrival because I only have two more screws left. And they go here and there. Alright. Is this from this lot? Yeah, it seems like this is from this lot of French. I was under the impression there was no power supply coming from this lot. Eleven point eight amps. Okay. Strange. How did I miss the power supply? Maybe it's from prior laptop repair. Alright, so the power supply doesn't output anything. Here, now it outputs everything. Good job. Alright, let's... Uh, let's plug it in. We got two lights right here on the front. Yellow lights. That's a good sign. Press the power button, nothing happens yet. For some reason it wobbles like that on a, on a straight table. This is a perfect desk. It's for some reason it wobbles. Yeah, it wobbles because there is no rubber padding on one of the one of the legs right there well system 76 76 are you gonna work or not system 76 guys i would appreciate if you would give a like subscribe to the channel i will let you know which brands of the laptops i would buy and which ones i wouldn't this one the reason i don't like this particular laptop is um, the screen is a glassy screen and and there is a lot of headache coming from the glassy screens anyways uh, so the laptop you see how reflective it is i mean do you get a headache you could get an eye insult from this thing anyways uh thanks so much for watching please leave a like subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day thanks bye